Hi there, Dave Brown from Dave Brown Classic Rides in Guttenberg, Iowa. And I have a 57 Ford convertible. And it's one of my favorites. I really like it. Especially with this two-tone paint. In this case, it's red and white. And the white top, outstanding. This car here is, um, is a true history vehicle. Meaning, it just goes down as a... Uh, history vehicle because it's so beautiful and it has everything you could ask for white whites red and white paint this molding here is called the hockey stick as you can see looks like that that's an accessory has the fender skirts on the back mirrors even the antenna is special it's got the flow of the wind back in those days everything was fins everything was bullets Everything, see the bullet hood ornament? See, that's what it is. Everything was a sweeping style. And it's got the wraparound windshield. They don't have that anymore either. Wraparound windshield, so you can see from the inside out. And this one has the chrome. That's a 57 only year. They have that chrome. It's, it's, I shouldn't say chrome. It's aluminum and it's more uh, golden tone. On the inside, <clears throat> We have the two-tone red and white in the door panel and the seats. I hope it's not, I've got the price tag on here. Um, I hope it's not too dark to see the beautiful interior. Everything is new from the carpet to the seats, the back. This is the red and white original colors and the dash. In here is a town and country radio. I don't know if you can see that. But that's a special radio, a genuine Ford that they built in 57. And you push the button and the, and the selector goes back and forth and finds your best station. But with AM today, the stations are hard to find. And it doesn't work as good today as it did in 1957. There's a top boot back here. It does have a boot and it fits and it works just fine. So with that, you can see the paint is red and white. It looks really good. We can walk around the front and get a picture of the grill. And the wide white walls. Wide white wall tires and beautiful hubcaps. Red stripe on the wheels to match the red on the, the, the body. And now I'll get rid of this price tag. And there you can see the front, the wrap around. The chrome is really nice. The, the uh, fair line up here on the emblem is nice shape. There's that bullet hood ornament we talked about. I'll open the hood in a little while after we continue walking around. There's an accessory in 1957. That, that chrome, you can take it off if you don't like it, but that was the style and it had more light <clears throat> came out and it was lowered to the ground. That was the idea. And we can go around this side. It's a duplicate of that side, pretty much. The white and the red with the gold anodized trim in the middle. And then it has a matching mirror on this side. The white top, the wraparound windshield. And continues on the back. The red and the white routine. Not routine, but motif. Fender skirts, another option. It was really popular in 57. Fender skirts, wide, white wall tires. And now back here, here's the sign that says, or the emblem says Fairline Fave 100. And here is another part that was really popular in 57. If you had a car like this, you were really doing something. This is a Continental kit. I have it uh, lifted up here so you can see how easy it goes from one position to the other. There's a latch there. That's where your license plates go. And if you want to get in the trunk, you've got to do this. Lift this up and swing it out of the way. And then you can get to the key. It goes right here and here's the Fairlane uh, insignia. The tail lights are all the original style, the bullet style. The fins with the bullet style. All the car companies have that. Cadillac, Lincoln, 
everything. Buick, this is Ford style right here. I can get a key and open up the trunk and after we get okay here we have the key to the trunk and inside you can see it's got the original trunk liner right there a spare tire that looks in excellent shape there's the jack everything is nice and tidy inside floor mat all original stuff it's not just somebody took a bed sheet and put it in there and this is the back end here's the key I have the key here a round key, a Ford has a round key. This, the one like this is for ignition. This one's for the trunk. I'll shut the trunk. And here we go back down with the, with the spare tire. Pull the button, there, and that's it. It locks it there, so it can't get away. I'm gonna put the top down now, so you can see how the top goes. And then we will get around to the engine compartment and listen to the engine run. We have latches for safety, two of them, so the top doesn't fly up. Boy, they're tight too. There it goes. Okay, now I'll put the top down. I'll turn the key on so you can see it's fully automatic. You don't have to do anything, just release those two latches. I like to see the, the latches are tight. That means things aren't stretched out of, out of shape. Or sun hit it and making it sag. Okay, now we should. Here we go. Here we go. It probably should go out and straighten up the back window out a little bit. Sometimes they get kinked and you don't want that to happen. You just straighten it out so when it does go down you could straighten it out that side there you go just like that so when it does go by it doesn't kink that's what we're after gotta push the button in the right direction see how nice that works And then naturally, if you want to put the windows down, that'll give you better style. Now here I have the top boot, and this goes when you want to use it. That goes from side to side, and um, it's got a little hole right here. And it goes from side to side, and you snap it over these buttons right here, and then you get a beautiful look. Many people never use this boot. Just more screwing around than what it's worth. But it has it, if you want to get in the parade, or you got a wedding or, you know, anything. These windows curl, roll down real easy. And that's all there is. And we got our compliance, uh, government compliance, that this is a used car and not a new car. And uh, with that, I'm looking at the front and it has power steering. It says it right there, Ford Master Power Steering. Like I said, the nice ready the town and country. It has the seat for the town. It's a better reception, so it will find stations a little easier. And if you're out in the country, like where we live, it's a little harder to get reception. So with that, I'm going to start it up, and you can hear it run. And then Sue will walk around the whole car, listen to the, you can hear it, listen to the exhaust. And it's not loud, it's got standard mufflers. Some of these, they have so-called Hollywood mufflers and they're loud, so you can walk around and see the engine. This is a Thunderbird special. That's worth all Ford V8s in that year. They call them Thunderbird special because they did have them in there, obviously Thunderbird. There's the air cleaner, power steering unit, brake assembly. Fan for the uh, heater.
So hi there again, Dave Brown, Dave Brown Classic Rides, Guttenberg, Iowa. I hope you enjoyed our video of this beautiful 57 Ford convertible, red and white, got to be right. And uh, the interior is red and white. It's just a beautiful car. I like the style. This is my absolute favorite Ford right here, 57. I like the wings. I like it has single headlights. That was the last year for single headlights after they had they put dual headlights in and they had to make the fenders wider and it just didn't look the same. This has got that style, that sleek style down there down with that golden insert and the hockey puck uh, molding there and the fender skirts, continental kit. It doesn't get any better. It just doesn't get any better. This is the top of the line 57 Ford convertible. Yeah. So I hope that's... Uh, is what you're asking for as far as listening to it how it sounds and uh, it drives really nice it's cold here in Iowa right now or we go for a ride but it drives excellent uh, everything is is good about the car it's a very fun car going up in value all the time it's just going up this is not a car that you buy it today and a year from now it's worth you know 10% less and the next year we're 10% again this is the opposite this is 10% every year it goes up okay well again thank you from thank you from Dave Brown Classic Rides in Gothenburg Iowa if you have any questions please give me a call 563-880-0578 thank you